Now we, sp we spent some time talking about gyroscopes. The key to understanding these gyroscopes was really to understand the angles. Now the way we did this was we, we, we thought about a sphere just like the earth. It has an equator just like the earth and it has the poles, the north pole and the south pole. Now there's, there's three angles. Um, the first angle we'll call theta. Theta is equivalent to the angle from the North Pole. So it's somewhat like the latitude. Then we had phi. And phi was an angle relative to some arbitrary line along here. And that's somewhat like the longitude. And then the final angle was psi. And psi just has to do with the, the spin. So really we talk about psi dot, and that's the, the rate of rotation. So along with the Earth analogy, it would be the, the rotation rate of the Earth. So those are the three angles. When theta and phi are concerned with the, which direction the angular momentum is pointing. So if you have a... Um, a sphere like the Earth, theta and phi, these two angles uniquely identify any direction at which you're pointing. And so the, the angular velocity here is written in terms of um, all these angles and the time derivatives of these angles. Now this wasn't applicable just for gyroscopes. It's, uh, we can really use these equations to define the motion of an axis, axisymmetric body. So there's a, a, um, a body that spins along a symmetry axis. So let's look at those equations too. Okay, and so here we go. These, these equations here, um, we, I've written them out in the components. So we've got the x component, the y component, the z component of the um, couple m. And they're written in terms of, of the angles, which we just defined, the moment of inertia i, and that's the moment of inertia about the spin axis. Um, but also the, the moment of inertia I prime about the transverse axis. So that's um, perpendicular to the spin axis. And so these equations define the motion of an axisymmetric body. And they're all here. You can see the, um, the z components conventionally written as a time derivative of this, which is psi dot plus phi dot cosine theta. And that's the summary for ac uh, the ro motion of an axisymmetric body, the rotational motion of an axisymmetric body.